Some rain in the forecast, no gators in our area this holiday weekend in the Tennessee Valley as well. <laughs> Allison? Uh, yeah, thankfully we don't have to worry about the gators and we really don't have to worry about the hurricanes either. Our issue is the heat. So I wanted to give you an update of where Hurricane Barrel is. It is a Category 3 storm right now. Max sustained winds at 125 miles per hour. Point of reference, here's Jamaica. That was the impact area yesterday as that northern eye wall went right by the southern to southwestern coast of Jamaica. Next up, we're talking about the Yucatan Peninsula. So let's go ahead and look at that track then. So putting it all into motion, this was the 2 a.m. advisory. You can see it going from a category three to a category two. There's a lot of wind shear in this environment. So even though it's over open ocean, that's going to weaken the hurricane a little bit and forecasted generally Thursday night into Friday morning to make landfall along the Yucatan Peninsula. Move them back out into the Gulf after it's been over land as a tropical storm and then potentially increase once again to a category one hurricane then as it makes landfall for another time along the Mexico and Texas border. So uh, that timing with that potential for southern Texas, we're now talking about the end of the weekend, Sunday night into Monday morning, really pushing into that southern area of Texas. Back here at home, it's not hurricane barrel, it's the heat. That's what we have a problem with. We have more heat advisories for today. So now we have a lot of our Tennessee counties have been added. Yesterday, we already had some northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama. This is for max heat index values for the afternoon hours into the early evening from 100 to 109 potentially. So you'll notice Grundy, Van Buren and Bledsoe counties not highlighted and then our eastern mountain communities not highlighted. That heat index not quite as bad for you. Uh, depending on our exact area because we have different forecast offices that cover these, these heat advisories start between 1 and 2 p.m. local time to 7 to 8 p.m. tonight. So generally think early afternoon through the early evening that they're going to be in place. In Chattanooga specifically, it looks like that max heat index is probably going to top out around that 106 degree mark for today. 104 on Friday and then look at some relief that we have for the weekend. 94 on Saturday, 97 on Sunday and 101 on Monday. And that's because the humidity is going to be falling. So we are in this very muggy category today and tomorrow. Slide downhill on Saturday, Sunday and then a little bit of a rise up into next week. That's because tomorrow there's going to be a cold front approaching our area and that's going to bring some storms for your Friday. It's not here yet though for your 4th of July. So we do have some clouds to begin the day this morning and generally for today it's going to be partly sunny out there, but you'll see uh, the next weather system this low right here that's in Kansas is still pretty far away. So that's why generally today for the holiday it's going to be quiet out there. That wind coming up from the south, you had the mix of sun and clouds and there is still about a 20% chance just with the heating of the day. So much of that moisture, so much of that heat, you're going to get a couple couple of pop up showers and storms, but a lot of areas are going to stay dry today. In fact, here's seven o'clock this evening with future cast and nothing even really showing up. Uh, and then when we're looking at fireworks time, say 9 30, 10 p.m., most of the area looking good to go. So I don't see too much interference today for your outdoor plans. Keep in mind, there may be a few pockets of downpours or rumbles of thunder where you have to head inside, but the heat, the humidity, that's the bigger problem today. Friday morning, 8 a.m. still relatively quiet, but once we get past about 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday, Friday, then we'll start to see those scattered storms kind of on and off push across our area. This is all ahead of that cold front. So the wind's still coming from the south for your Friday, but watch what happens Friday night as that cold front passes into Saturday morning. We then have the blue arrows. That's going to help that humidity drop on Saturday, and you'll generally have partly sunny skies for Saturday as well. So when we put it all together for your seven day forecast, 4th of July today, it's about the heat, 98 degrees. Tomorrow for Friday, it's more about the rain and the storms. Saturday, still hot with a high of 92, but at least you have the falling humidity for Saturday. Paul?